In October of 2019, the State of Play Seattle King County was released. Using surveys, interviews, focus groups, and led by a community advisory board, the report highlighted what folks already knew. Not enough kids in King County are physically active, and there are substantial gaps in who has access to sport, play, and outdoor recreation due to a confluence of systemic barriers. The Mariners are proud to be involved in this project as a financial backer, but frankly, that was the easy part. And as several other speakers have said, the work starts today. Now we need to activate the results of this study. Unsatisfied with just putting out a report, the Community Advisory Board formed itself into a coalition to address the racial, gender, geographic, and socioeconomic gaps the report identified. The King County Play Equity Coalition was born. There was so much inertia in those conversations. There were so many people in the community that had a passion for play equity that just wanted a place to put that energy. The coalition got to work determining its own leadership, decision-making, and membership structures, quickly growing from 25 organizations to over 50 even during the height of COVID. Even in that time, it was a place that I knew was special and a team and an organization that was building something special. Supported by seed funding from King County Parks, the first leadership team and early staff built a strategic plan, grew the coalition to over 100 organizational members, and launched action teams, including a youth action team. So one of the ways that the coalition for us um, is successful in our work is through our action team program. And that really helps us engage all of our members, anywhere from government agencies and corporations down to the grassroots organizations to collectively work together on an identified issue under play equity and address it as a team. Through those action teams and with the collective wisdom and energy of its members, the coalition has tackled many of the recommendations from the state of play in the last five years, including recess policy, more women coaches, pro sports team collaboration. Led by members' needs and interests, the coalition has also advocated for and catalyzed action in new areas, including COVID relief dollars, outdoor recreation, swim equity, and basketball equity, to name a few. While the specific tactics from the state of play are important, the coalition has also made other substantial contributions to the community in the past five years. It has built capacity and a learning community in the sport and outdoor sector. The most successful or impactful aspect that the King County Play Equity Coalition brings is a learning community. Um, while we have, you know, advocacy action teams and we have these action teams that are out there doing great work and we've had many wins um, throughout our time. Um, I think it's just being able to come together. No one else is really stepping back and overseeing the landscape and that's what the coalition does. And that role is really critical to making meaningful advancement in the play equity space. It has been a disruptor, protecting access to play and play spaces. It has worked to center communities of color. To center, you know, black and indigenous communities and to center the voices of the community in the process has really saw and brought the needed change that I think the Play Equity Coalition uh, was called to do. The coalition even existing is a big deal because I, I know often that individuals, groups will rally around a challenge or an issue and it takes several years for a group to form, for people to fall into a space where they are either bought into or there's a level of buy-in. It also just gave me the motivation and the uh, fortitude right, to be a part of a space that now actually cared about our well-being. Right? It cared about the well-being of BIPOC-owned, BIPOC-led, BIPOC-focused you know, uh, uh, organizations. Um, and elevating and amplifying the voices of those uh, who have been marginalized. When the coalition started, very few people in the county had heard the term play equity, even though many had experienced play inequities. Now, hundreds of member organizations and community members recognize the value of play equity. While physical activity is not fully prioritized in youth development policy, awareness is increasing of its vital importance to our youth's physical and mental well-being. In the last five years, 
rates of physical activity have increased in the region, outpacing the improvement seen statewide. The racial physical activity gaps created by COVID have started to improve. However, the gap has not closed at all for girls and has even widened a little bit. This is a reminder that there is still significant work to do and big dreams for the future. You know, the hope for the future of the coalition is that it's sustained. Um, the work uh, itself is sustained. The collaborative effort uh, that the coalition has sought out to do is sustain the continuation of uh, the state of play reports continue to build. Last year, all of the Seattle Pro teams got together, and I think this is the first time they've ever done this, to uh, create a joint funding pool of $500,000, and we called it the Seattle Alliance, to advance play equity in this region and specifically to support the coalition to become its own organization and to grow in size and impact. It's not even always what I hope. It's going to be run by community members and organizations and it's going to go in whatever direction our communities want it to. Ultimately, as the coalition grows, so too will the health, well-being, and joy of young people in King County. I, I would love for all youth to be able to do whatever they want for as long as they want to with whoever they want to with leadership that reflects them and that they feel safe with. Every sport definitely has a place for someone and if, and if you don't like sports, then you just haven't explored the right one for you. It's kind of like reading a book. Like if you don't like reading, then you just haven't explored the right book yet. Whether it's their ability to dream that they can learn how to swim or their ability to dream that they can go be the next Julio Rodriguez and get on that baseball field at T-Mobile Park and show their community that the community cared for me. And that gave me the ability to be where I am today. Together, let's keep kids playing and dreaming.